What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone Light. Oh, yeah, guys. So as we approach Christmas Day, I keep getting more and more things on me. Now I have like some kind of Christmas dragon wings, I guess. I don't <laughs> so weird. Anyway, guys, uh, so last episode, we were messing around with the mechanism stuff. Did I look? I looked at them. Dang it. We were messing around with the mechanism stuff. We made all those factories. So when we need to make mechanism things, it's going to be like super easy. Uh, we didn't claim a lot of the rewards though, so we should probably look at doing that. Wait, you can eat these? Oh, okay. I had like, I had half a hunger haunch gone. I was like, you can eat these things when you're, you're still full? <laughs> I don't know. Can you? Oh, I guess you probably can. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so these apples are way better than I thought they were. Uh, but anyway, we didn't claim a lot of the rewards from that. And then we have some other various ones to claim. So let's do that right away. So mechanism, we have the reinforced core. We can claim that. We'll do middle loot bags today. How about that? Do this one or loot chest, I guess is what they're called. Uh, we had this quest right here that just wants us to get an atomic alloy. We have that on auto craft. I don't know why I didn't put that in my inventory and claim it already or, you know, complete the quest. But, you know, this only takes just a few seconds for us to craft those up. So might as well just do it right now, right? Okay, so there we go. Uh, another quest complete. Let's pop this one. Okay, now over in, where was it? I was just looking at this a second ago. Endist? Yeah, this one. We had two more. So Dark Steel, I made some of that a little while ago. And when I broke a chest, <laughs> uh, all that went to my inventory. So we got that recipe, or we got that reward. Uh, so this quest, we completed this by opening up a loot chest. I think last episode, it gave us like one of every one of these things. So let's claim this as well. Okay, so we got a bunch of loot chests. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop these. Hopefully we'll get something really good here. So mana lenses again, witch charm, pulsating iron, chance psychosahedron, gas charm, mana steel. We haven't seen any of the really OP rewards that I know exist. I'm sure we'll get to those eventually. At least I hope so anyway. So what I wanted to do today, I wanted to upgrade our jetpack. Yeah, going back to this section here, I wanted to upgrade our jetpack to the Simply Jetpack 3, because I'm pretty sure we can do this now. So this wants us to make an energetic jetpack. The energetic jetpack requires us to have energetic alloy, which we have on auto craft, double layer, I think we have on auto craft, and enhance and like all of these different things, like pulsating crystals. We have those on auto craft. And those are really fast. Energetic alloy. Yeah, we have those available. I'm not sure how much we need. I'll make 10 more of those just so we have extras just in case. Might as well get those going right now. Redstone alloy. I think we might have some of that. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of it. I'm not sure why we have that much, to be completely honest. I must have mass crafted up some of those things earlier. And then we need at least five double layer capacitors. And again, that's going to be really easy. I'll just craft up 10 because I'm sure... We're going to need those a little bit later to upgrade into the vibrant or yeah, the vibrant jetpack, or I guess the octatic one. So there is one of those. Oh, energetic. I guess I used up all the energetic alloy. I just had the, the system make there to make these double layer capacitors and now I need it again. Okay. Well, there we go. There's the other one. And Hey, so we have everything except for my jetpack. So let's take that off and we'll put it into the crafting recipe here. And there we go. So that one you can see has 4 million RF compared to our 400,000 RF one. And I do believe this one should be a lot faster at getting us around. Well, if nothing else, it has a lot more capacity. But yeah, I do believe that has a, a stronger vertical thrust. User is about to die activating hover mode. I wasn't about to die. What are, you go what are you talking about? So I guess this thing has the automatic thing. If you fall from too far of a distance, <laughs> it'll just put you in hover mode, which I guess is nice for the slime boots. And maybe with that, we don't need their slime boots anymore. Hmm. I don't know. The slime boots do allow us to bounce around and get around a little bit faster still. So eh, I don't know. So we'll claim the middle one. What about the vibrant one? Maybe we should do this one too. Vibrant jetpack. To make one of these, we need the Vibrant Alloy Octatic, and then we need Ender Energy Conduits, which we haven't made yet because we need the Vibrant, but we have all of that stuff auto-craftable now. So I tell you what, let me go ahead and just craft up a bunch of the Vibrant Alloy. It'll take a minute. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? We have <laughs> we have 26. I didn't realize we had that much. 
Let's see, can I craft? Well, we had two octatics. Is that gonna be enough? We need these. Oh, we don't have any of the conduit binder, but I do have that on auto craft as well. Let's craft up, I don't know, like 40. I think that should be pretty good. Uh, back to this, this, this guy, one of those. We probably should replace all of the conduit <laughs> in our in our base with that. Uh, vibrant alloy got a little too crazy there. Crafting up more of those energy conduits than what I needed. So can we do this? Okay, so we need the vibrant crystal. We craft up four of those. I do believe that's what we need. So we got four of those and okay, so vibrant thruster, vibrant thruster. Okay, so that's most of the work. And then yeah, here we go. All right. Take that jetpack off. Immediately upgrade it again without really giving it much use. So this one's gonna go to 20 million RF. Simply jetpack four. All right. So this one definitely has a lot more thrust. I believe it has more horizontal movement. Like if I put it in hover mode, like we can move around a lot faster than we have been able to. So now might be the point where we finally get rid of our, <laughs> our boots. <laughs> okay, so this probably has the, yeah, it has the thing where we're about to die and it stops that. Okay, so this is definitely a lot better movement. Uh, let's clean that one as well. All right, pop it. Oak, wood, and stone, not so great. And a blaze charm, again, not that great, unfortunately. Yeah, we haven't been seeing too good of rewards today. Okay, so now that we've done a little bit of the jetpack work, we can fly around for a lot longer. I don't have to worry about running out of jetpack fuel anytime soon. Uh, I did want to start working towards, what was it, the, hmm, one of these things here. Let me take a look. And that would be the Infinity Booster card. Now, I can't remember if this drops from the Wither Bosses or the, the Dragon Boss. I feel like I remember these dropping from the Wither Boss. That doesn't necessarily mean it does that in this pack. But we do need to get towards fighting the Wither, which also means we should look at making Wither Seeds so we can grow more Wither Skeleton Skulls, right? So we're going to need Supremium Essence, Tier 5 Crafting Seed, but these Wither Skeleton Chunks, these are the thing that we need. So we can get the Chunks from any other mod that drops a Tier 5, which I only think is a Skeleton, to be honest, the Wither Skeleton. Uh, but we can craft these, but we need Wither Skeleton Skulls, which we need. <laughs> so pretty much what we need to do is go to the Nether and start looking for Wither Skeleton. Uh, once we find one, we can capture it in a safari net and then spawn it in and then make a bunch of them and poke it with our solarium sword, I do believe. Yeah, this guy, solarium dagger. Yeah, and then we can get the mob chunks that way. Now, it's only a 10% chance that they drop. It says it right on the thing, right? Uh, so we'll probably have to spawn in a few of them, but it's definitely a thing that we're going to want to do. Once we get the seeds going, we'll never have to worry about uh, the wither skeleton skulls again. Uh, can the skeleton essence be used for anything? Oh, okay, so witherproof blocks and witherproof glass. You know, I think there was also other witherproof stuff that I saw in here that was pretty easy, like this carbon block. Maybe it's not easy, but it is a thing that we can do. And also we get a diamond bit, I guess. I don't I don't know if that's a thing that we want to do. Uh, there's the reinforced obsidian from Ender.io. This is our old standby. So that requires dark steel and flux electrum plus obsidian. So it's a little bit more expensive, but it is a thing. Like if we need to fight the wither boss and we got the witherproof glass and the block that we saw there already as well. So we have a few different options. We'll probably end up going with the reinforced obsidian if I can't find a way to make the carbon block effectively. Although we might be able to, we might be able to grow enough coal or sift enough gravel for coal or is it sand either way. Hmm, we'll have to think about that. Anyway, it's going to be off to the nether for us. All right, guys, so here we are in the nether, and I can see on the mini-map, like, straight ahead, a wither skeleton. So let's try and see if we can get over to it. Is that it right there in the armor? I think that might have been it. Looks like there's already a hole poked into here. And I have a safari net. Let... That guy's already got some damage. Somebody must have been through here. And there you are. Gotcha. All right. So now we have a wither skeleton. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Uh, this chest here looks like that's been looted. I'll just go ahead and remove that. So other people, if they come here, they won't have to open the chest and be disappointed like I am right now. I wish there was some good stuff in there, but there isn't. Uh, I do have marked over here, though, a blaze spawner. Ooh. 
Yeah, so I did find a blaze spawner that was kind of hidden. I don't know if other people have been to here. Maybe I looted that chest a while ago. Who knows? Um, but yeah, there is a blaze spawner here. So in case we ever do need one, we can always get to it. And yeah, I think that was just over here down this path a little bit. Uh, yeah, over here, then up. Right there. So there is a blaze spawner here. Should we need blaze? I think that's where I farmed up our first little bit of blaze rods a while ago. But yeah, now that we got the wither skeleton in the safari net, we might want to look at other rare nether mobs that we should be spawning in, like potentially ghast. Maybe I should spend some time here and see if I can get a gas. Because if we need... Well, actually, does a gas drop anything that we need? Let's take a look at that. We have the catalyzing glands that are being dropped from creepers. And three of those turn into the gas tier. So maybe... Maybe it's not really a point of catching a gas. Um, I need to get out of here. I'll just book a hole. Probably not the best thing to do. <laughs> Poking a hole in the nether. You know how that'll always turn out. Get some lava in the face. I guess we were just fine, though. Uh, I don't really know if there's any other mobs, to be honest, that we need here. Another thing I would like to do, though, since we were messing around with the mechanism section, let's go back to that real quick. Uh, digital miner is the next one in this line of tasks. Now, the digital miner, we can just plop down the nether, give it some power, and be like, hey, find me nether quartz. That's one of those resources that we've had to come back many times to the nether for. Also, the prosperity shards. Yeah, this stuff. Like, I have to keep mining that. There's a gas right there. Hmm. Should we capture it? Maybe we'll just capture it anyway. Oh, I don't have my wireless thing. Okay. I was hoping that I could just use my wireless thing. Did it break? Dead gas? Server died? Lag spike. Oh my goodness, the lag. What is up with that? Okay. <laughs> well, we finally killed it. Not the, uh, the most graceful death of the gas, but we definitely killed it. Okay, well, anyway, I think we need, I think we just need to go back, take care of what we got here, and just continue on. All right, guys, so here we are back at the base. Now, back in the mechanic, I'm sorry, in the Endist Revolution section, uh, I want to make this enchantment pedestal, this enchanter. This will allow us to make a few different enchantments that we probably could get, but this will just make it that much quicker. So let's go ahead and make one of these things real quick. The enchanter is made with dark steel, which we should have, diamonds, and a book. All pretty easy stuff at this point for us. There it is. So now that we have an enchanter, kind of feel like we should set it up over here by our bibliocraft stuff. Now that we have the enchanter, we can go through here and check out all the different things that we can get. So we can have sieve luck of the sea. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Can you get... Can you sift for stuff in the ocean? What's Wither Affinity? I don't even know what these enchantments are. Pretty much what I'm looking for right now is Mending. Mending is definitely a thing that we want. Soulbound, we should put on all of our armor. I guess when we get really good armor. Uh, yeah, here we go. Mending. So Mending is a thing that I want to put on our Solarium Dagger. So this thing doesn't just go away. Unbreaking would probably be okay. Definitely Mending. And then Sharpness to make this have a little bit more attack damage. If we're going to have to be poking monsters with that thing to get mod chunks, yeah, I think that is going to be the way to go. There's also a thing we could do. We could, like, push the mobs to a certain location and use a wooden spike, I guess. And that would bring the monsters down to half a heart, and then it'd just be one poke per monster. But, yeah, as we've seen, there's, like, not really any good conveyors in this pack. We can use fans, but they're a little expensive and annoying to set up, so... Yeah, I think we'll probably just end up just doing mending and just uh, sharpness and poking the wither skeletons. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that going here. So to make the mending book, we needed the experience dagger. No, not dagger. Experience rod, I think is what it's called, which is solarium plus energetic alloy. Uh, so that's solarium. Make up like 10 of those so we have extra. And then... Uh, energetic alloy well i guess we need these as well okay well i guess what i'll do is i will go ahead and just craft up the enchantments get the dagger going and then we'll look at spawning in some wither skeletons all right guys so we got ourselves our mfr spawner here i made a dimensional transceiver so we can power it and then we have our drum full of essence it's only got 11 buckets and they're not a whole lot 
Uh, I also ran an Ender IO redstone conduit over to this lever so we can turn this thing on and off as we need to. Uh, I do believe with the redstone signal, this thing doesn't work. So let's turn that on first of all. Okay, so we'll turn the dimensional transceiver on. We go here, power, receive. So that thing's now getting powered. This thing's now getting powered. It has essence in there. Yeah, we only got like 14 buckets. So we're not gonna have a lot of spawnable time, but we should be able to spawn in a decent amount of these things. So we want to spawn exact copy. No, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember if that spawns in regular skeletons or not. We'll try it first of all, see if it spawns in regular skeletons. We might have to do exact copy, yes. Uh, so it's got a little bit of an idle time, a little bit of an idle cooldown that we got to wait, and then it should start spawning in. Yeah, that's doing regular skeletons. All right, so let's turn that back off. We want to make sure we're doing exact copy, which is going to use more essence. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that. Um, so our sword here, I did go ahead and I put mending on it and sharpness five. So it should stay pretty much always full durability. And then we're now doing 10 attack damage instead of the seven that it said that we were doing before. All right, so exact copy, yes. Try that again. Just gonna have to wait a little bit of time for that idle timer to cool back down again, which can take up to, I think, 10 seconds. And then it's gotta do like another 10 seconds for it to spawn the mob. And fortunately, this thing's a little slow, but it should get the job done. Now, what I wanna do most likely is poke a hole somewhere, maybe like right here. So whatever's inside can come over, see me, aggro me, and then I can poke it a little bit. I think that's what we want to do. Is this thing not going? What's the deal? Wow, it's going like really slow. Okay, that's eating up all of our essence. Okay, so we might not be able to get this thing to work. I might have to turn our mob spawner down below into an essence farm. Like turn off the mob grinder and put... uh. <laughs> the grinder from MFR down there just specifically to collect oh my goodness and these guys are gonna be armored too because we picked up the armored version well first one we got a withered rib a drop of evil bone and coal that's not bad but yeah we might run out of essence before we even spawn in a second one at this rate what are we doing here yeah we're out of essence up there and we are going through it really quick we might get one Ah, uh, it's not looking very good. My goodness, I didn't think it was going to be this bad, this this uh, expensive on the essence to spawn these in. Nope, we're not even going to get that next spawn out of this. Wow. Okay, so we need to get the mob grinder. This guy. We need to set this up down below our normal mob farm. Have this thing kill the mobs. We'll probably void out the items that this thing makes because this is just going to be temporary anyway. We need to fill up a drum, and we're probably going to want more than an iron drum. Uh, do we have any extra drums at this point? We have this reinforced large drum. Okay, we'll go ahead and use that. Uh, so, yeah. I guess I'll go downstairs, make the modifications to our mod trap, and then we'll be back, guys. So, really simple setup here. Right above this block is our mob grinder. So, I put... Or, I'm sorry, our uh, mob masher. I put our mob grinder back here, which I do believe can reach up multiple blocks. So the fan should push the mobs to the center. This thing, I think, works on a 5x5 five five in front of it. And I think it can go up a few blocks. Anyway, I hope this works. If not, we might have to break out this block and place this up one. Uh, so we got a trash can back here just to delete all the items that this thing's going to make. It'll automatically eject into the trash. At least that's the plan. And then we got a reinforced large drum right next to this thing. So it should automatically eject the mob juice into there. That's what we're looking for. And then it's just going to be a waiting game. So let's turn this thing on. I guess turn the lights off. Turn the mob farm on. And we'll take a look at this thing. Hopefully this is going to work. So I just saw a spider die. Yeah, we got some essence. Okay. So this appears to be working. Now the only other thing we do need to do is a another dimensional transceiver down here because this thing does require power and I forgot about that. Uh, luckily, this is a pretty quick craft for us to do. All right, and we will once again set this thing to power out receive. So that should be powering this thing fully. This machine has stuffed items. Okay, so this does not work. So we do need to get ourselves uh, a chest. You know what, we probably could use... Nah. Nah. Nah, we'll just get a chest. 
We'll get ourselves a chest here. So that should pump all the items that it's going to be making into this chest. And then from that chest, we'll extract into a trash can. I think that's probably going to be our simplest solution here. Let's get an item conduit. And then extract always active. This one's going to be insert. And then also item conduit. Let's just grab some speed upgrades in case we get too many items. Again, this is just temporary setup. We're just trying to fill a large drum full of this stuff so we can get these mob things, the mob chunks. And then once that's complete, we'll set this back up the way it was before and grind these monsters properly. But I think that should be about all we need to do. So now it's just going to be a waiting game, <laughs> letting the mobs collect, let the grinder do work. Now yeah, we'll be back, guys. All right, so immediately after I set that up, it bothered me. <laughs> I replaced the trash can with an ender chest that's marked the same way as how we've been normally collecting items. So all of those are going into our normal system being sorted appropriately. I also made an ender tank here. Yeah, so we are collecting essence this way after letting it idle for just a little while. So the drum that I have in my hand has like over 500 buckets of the essence in it, which is great. Oh, whoa, whoa. I guess we left this on. It didn't turn it off. Oh, I might die. Oh no, uh, eat. Quickly, don't want to die. There we go. We should be fine. We got the regeneration happening here. Come here, guy. Come here. Come into the window. Got him. Okay, did we get a thing? No, we didn't get a thing. Oh, those guys dropped a rock carbon. I didn't know that. Okay, so we have a drum here. 545 buckets of essence. Uh, okay. Let's hover right like that. So that should be pumping in all the essence <laughs> into there. And then we'll be getting new essence from our mob farm as we kill enemies. I think that should be enough for now. But anyway, it's going to take a little bit of time for these guys to spawn in and for me to kill them. So I guess I'll just go ahead and cut here. We'll try and get the mob chunks that we need and then we'll be right back. All right, so this is going too slow in the overworld doing exact copy. So I brought it here to the nether and I put it on spawn normal. So it's using far less essence spawning way faster. And we're getting a lot more of these weather skeletons. Now, the thing is, I put looting on this sword. And it seems like we're only getting the regular skeleton chunks. We're not getting the wither skeleton ones. And maybe we're just getting very unlucky. I don't know. But it just seems like we're getting an awful lot of the regular skeletons. And no more of these wither ones. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, these regular skeletons, though, <laughs> are pretty damaging. We don't have a lot of armor, I'm starting to realize. Like, we have our steel stuff, and we don't have the armor for our jetpack. Probably things we should look at, but yeah, if I'm not careful, those skeleton, skeletons can definitely do some pretty bad damage to us. Let's try and get some more aggroed over here and see if we can do anything with these guys. I feel like the looting is what's really affecting this. I don't know. I guess maybe we might just be unlucky, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is silly but anyway this is gonna this is gonna go a heck of a lot faster than what we were doing before so i think we'll be okay uh so i'll just continue farming these guys up i just got another wither skeleton skull which is pretty good uh that puts us up to three but yeah still not a lot of luck on the the chunks anyway i'll keep at this and then we'll be back all right so we ended up getting the mob chunks that we need in fact they got a few extra i think we got five or six of them anyway so all we need to do is now craft this up the wither skeleton seed oh boy here we go i guess we only had five i thought we might have had more than that i stayed there for a little while longer than what i needed to so yeah now we have wither skeleton seeds we should start being able to get this wither skeleton essence which nine of those turn into a skull yeah so that's gonna be really nice uh, four of those plus Vibrant Alloy turns into Witherproof Block, so that might be a thing we end up doing, even though we might do the other, the Ender I.O. version. I almost feel like this might be cheaper. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely a thing that we will look at here, and probably in the next time we uh, we look at this. So for right now, I'm going to turn off, let's see, Northeast, which section is that? That's over here. We're going to remove all of these plants in the Northeast section. Uh, that was this one. Yeah, let's just get rid of all these guys here. Probably breaking more than what I want to. They'll replant if it's the wrong ones. Uh, but yeah, northeast section, I want to go ahead and just set up specifically for these wither skeleton seeds. But you know what? I guess we can't really do that until we get one grown and then duplicated. So we need at least 
one extra seed so when we lock this thing it'll stay in there and then the other one that we have will just grow and then you know potentially duplicate and then we'll get a lot of this stuff eventually so that's the next goal for this so for right now i'll just let this thing go we'll get the seeds in the system this will stay here as long as this thing will grow i'm not entirely sure do we need something special for this one to grow it seems like everything else is growing uh oh <laughs> i'll have to look at that one make sure uh so let's see what else do we want to do today uh i did want to look at making the digital miner and i wasn't sure i haven't looked at the recipe if this is a thing that we can do we need a bunch of crafting but you know what i think we have everything available for all the stuff that this requires logistical sorter yeah basic control iron ingots piston none of that's really expensive we can make atomic alloys no problem okay so i'll go ahead and cook up a digital miner and get all the stuff needed for this and then we'll head to the nether and check that out so the wither seeds are growing i just made sure that we collected our first essence from that and we should be good to go to make our digital miner so let's craft that up and there it is okay so now that we got that done let's go and claim our reward oh i got one for the enchant enchanter that we did earlier and then this one let's claim this one it looks like we also had another one over here yeah the osmium compressor will claim that as well okay so we got three chances at something good here let's see what we get 64k me storage uh some viaducts and fluix blocks and certus wah, wah. okay so we still haven't seen anything super super op yet we'll keep trying eventually it'll happen so let's go back to the nether real quick right inside the portal here is where we set up the spawner yeah right over here right behind our portal <laughs> i turned this thing off and i did chunk load this since we are still collecting essence uh i'm just gonna go ahead and steal the dimensional transceiver since we're not using the spawner at the moment yeah we just need to set this thing up over here so we'll put the digital miner down all right and then we'll give it some power okay so we need to configure it and we need to tell it a filter we want to do an ore dictionary and i think we want to do ore quartz yeah there it is so it knows about nether quartz ore so we can save it it has that in here we can go back and then we can tell it to silk touch if we want to so it'll get the ore itself or we can turn silk touch off and then it has a chance of blowing those ores up I think we want Silk Touch on and then we can process that stuff back at our base, putting it through a machine or whatever else. Uh, let's see, auto pull, auto eject. No, I think we're good on all of this stuff. Uh, so let's, oh, you know what? We also want the upgrades for this, don't we? Oh, I don't have <laughs> wireless here in the nether. I completely forgot. So yeah, so we can tell it to uh, craft up some energy upgrades. We want eight of those. And then we're also going to want the speed upgrades. And we're going to want eight of those as well. Because we just search for upgrade. We should be able to find what we're looking for. We're getting so many of these loot capacitors from all of the all of the loot bags that we've been opening. I've been upgrading our Ender IO machines with those. Trying to get the best of the best in each of them. But yeah, it's kind of slow going. Uh, anyway, so now that we're back here, we can put our energy upgrades in there so this thing will use far less energy than what it normally would i do believe when you soak touch it costs a lot more energy than if you do it normally so yeah you definitely want to get these energy upgrades in here so this says it is using 160 rf per tick 120 and that's like just the normal speed so i guess we can tell at the start we'll see how fast that goes at that speed it's going okay Let's speed it up. Let's put in half of these things. So we now bump it up to 200 RF per tick, 300, almost 400, 600, almost 700, 1.2 thousand RF per tick. And that's going decently fast. We're definitely gonna want this thing to go all the way up. So we're gonna have to look at uh, upgrading the power that we're making at the base. I don't think we're gonna be able to supply 12,000 RF per tick to this thing all the time. Uh, looks like it is though keeping full over here, but I bet we're draining our battery pretty good back at the base. But anyway, now when we come to the nether, I don't have to look for ore. I can just find one of the ores like the prosperity ore or the carbon ore, put a filter in our digital miner and just let it work and find it for me. 
And when we run out in an area, just fly somewhere else, set it up again, good to go. I think that's going to be really awesome. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.